Is there Garrett? Garrett to Vivia? Sir! Come to me, please! Approach! My eyes were not deceived, yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm-hmm. Me, south in all my fame. Ah, oh, I've heard so much. Why, when Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclerc, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your teeds. <laughs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Ah. You see, my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Grettore. Mm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets and a bag? Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? This Grotore. Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal. Long prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grotore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have. But none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Going on. Pretty crap idea sleeping at the clogs. Oh. Unless you don't mind some clever little beast making off with your coin pouch. Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the ducal guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. Oh. Oh. Be guns, drooping oh. danglies. I must have eaten something granted. Loud enough to wake the dead.
Strange. Can't hear anything now. Damn it. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. So, noises coming from here. soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. Hmm. Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Louis de Corentin. Died on the day of Saint Zoethan's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. No. Is Margot de Quarantin. Louis de Quarantin died on the day of Saint Zoethan's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. See how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some dwarf! Disgusting! Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. Mind keeping it down? Neighbors are complaining. Neighbors? Everyone here is dead! I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt! And this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him! He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent! Once, damn it, and as a jest! How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety! That was my cause! The Prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times? Quiet. Shut up, both of you.
Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine! My family's. The decorant tanks. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Valhaven, I'd still be alive! It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death! They murdered you for your debts! I had nothing to do with it! Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall speak to you no more! No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart! I shall speak to no one as long as she is in here. My apologies, but I'm simply not in the mood. No, wait. If you truly must do this, then please, at the least, deposit me somewhere pleasant. All the same to me. Where do you want to go? Take me to my mother's grave. It's in the old cemetery just outside the city walls. A lovely spot, almost on the lake shore. The flora there, it's extraordinary, really. Hmm, extraordinary flora. Where is it exactly? Beneath the outspread arms of a chestnut. The tombstone bears my mother's name. Micheline Belrose. To think I failed to heed her when she warned me about that lout.
Sir Conan of Bray End died of overtitillation while witnessing an act of unicorn apositosphelia. Interesting, but not what I'm looking for. Here lies Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paula Michelin Juan Rose. Maria. Is it. Yeah, that's not it. Well, wow, that's done. Remove the urn with Margot's ashes, just like you wanted. Louis, you there? Should have known he'd stand me up. All right, if that's how you want to play it. Please, put me back. Yes, I'm a fraud. I lied to you. I've no notion where the cards are, but, but I, I shall think of something. Just wait. A swordsmith. Trent has the name. I skinned him at Gwent once, but he had no coin, so he promised me the pride of his collection, a lovely blade, finely fashioned. I passed on before I could get it, but you could collect it in my stead. Just tell him Louis de Corentin sent you. The dead Louis de Corentin? Hmm, hmm, that could indeed prove problematic. But if... I know. The man's a gambler, inveterate. His wife forced him to seek help, a hypnosis or some such. She believes Trenta no longer touches cards, would wager her virtue on it. Were she to learn he still plays Gwent, well, he'd be in a deep doodaloo. Hmm, thanks. Here to collect Louis de Quarantin's sword. Ha! <laughs> That's rich. De Quarantin's dead. Who are you? His brother? His lover? Louis never mentioned either. Maybe so. But he told me a bit about you. Heard you used to play a little Gwent. Had a habit, in fact, till your wife helped you kick the addiction. Real treasure. Wife like that. Ah, the bumpok! Ugh. Here I thought I might hang it over the mantle again. With Louis gnawing reddishes from the underside. But it seems I must. So be it. The sword's yours. But don't leave me high and dry. Give me a chance to win back my dignity at least. Perhaps a round or three for coin? What about the wife? Not afraid she'll... In my home, what I say stands. Women have got no power. Besides which, the wife's away for a few days visiting her sister in Belhaven. So, shall we play? All 
right. Convinced me. Lay him out. It serves me right for challenging a stranger to have such a deck. Ah. So long. Ah, the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Gotta stop by that bank. Yeah. 
advice, Witchman. If you've no reason to live, live to spite others. Hi! Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clogs has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Yeah, really tough, demanding fight. Barely made it out alive. Is it your codex? Forbids you from revealing the details? For the best, I dare say. There's a small premium for you. You've earned it. Your only compoops. 